recorded videotaped showing my age but um those all the recordings will be sent out to you later so you will still be able to get that information that he gave at that 6 30 session but um his apologies um, but i'm mrs polsiak and i'm mrs green thanks for coming tonight and we're both English teachers, English nine teachers at the high school. So your child is probably going to have one of us. There are a couple other English nine teachers, but um, we teach a vast majority of the students. We're in here to tell you a little bit about some of the options that your child will have for next year. Okay. There are two primary courses that um, your child can take. The first is English 9 Academic. And with English 9 Academic in the next course, um, on the next slide, it's English 9 Accelerated. They are very similar. You read the same content, the same major works. You have short fiction, long fiction of To Kill a Mockingbird, poetry, nonfiction, Romeo and Juliet. It's just with English 9 Academic, it is definitely more teacher guided with the focus on the skills to help with the writing as well as into taking the Keystone exam that they will take in 10th grade. So we're really developing those skills with a teacher guided type of class. Even the analysis of the uh, literature that we read is more teacher guided and supportive for many types of reading levels. Conversely, the next course is English 9 Accelerated. And again, it's the same content that you would see with the short stories, To Kill a Mockingbird, nonfiction poems, and Romeo and Juliet, but it's faster paced and it's more student driven. So the students are coming up with the analysis and we're just kind of guiding that analysis. And it is more independent outside reading and a bit more intensive grammar as well. And this is more targeted to the accelerated learner, a, a student that wouldn't really enjoy uh, reading and analyzing literature and working with the grammar. With not too much, um, not that we're not there to help at the accelerated level, but feel more confident in doing most of it on their own. For the accelerated, option there is a requirement to from the eighth grade teacher to have a 90 percent in language arts eight or an 85 percent in advanced language arts to get into the nine accelerated class we really try to make sure that the student is properly placed in english nine so to not have to see a student struggle if they were getting a C in, in eighth grade English and then placed in accelerated, they might really struggle with that. So um, we'll talk about more of the other courses following in the high school in just a bit. This is great. So there are um, a few other opportunities for students that are um, more by design and recommendation of the middle school teachers based on um, star benchmarking and uh, middle school recommendation. And those are on-ramp reading support teachers that, uh, I'm sorry, on-ramp reading support classes that are um, coupled with English 9. And those are called Elements 1 and Elements 2. And those um, are a class that students can take before their ninth grade English class, which is then followed by an English 9. And it's taught as an entire year intensive. And um, you have the same English teacher along with a uh, co-taught with a reading specialist or special ed teacher for that section too. So that's just additional um, courses that we do offer, but those um, are again by the school or teacher recommendation based on the data of the student. So in addition to the regular ninth grade English classes, uh, as an incoming ninth grader, you do have the opportunity to sign up for one of our English department electives. That elective is theater arts. Theater arts is a class that um, you students can sign up for ninth through 12th grade. And 
you can take it also as advanced theater arts. They can take it as a three-day elective and as a five-day elective. Um, we have a more of a slide coming up on that soon. Later in the year, 10th through 12th grade, students can take other English electives. So we have um, argument, creative composition, public speaking, and again, uh, advanced theater arts if they've already taken the theater arts. So those are all elective opportunities that we have throughout uh, their career in the English at the high school. So uh, this is, we do, neither of us teach theater arts, so we asked for um, some information on it. And I do know the Young Playwrights Festival, which is on this page, is really cool. They have a festival within the school. Um, and I think that's one of their large culminating assignments. And they also have the Shakespeare recitation contest, which um, it, it starts in school and then also goes out to like the greater Pittsburgh area. And that's something that students have a whole lot of fun with. So those are things that happen within that theater arts class. And then following the ninth grade year, there are many similarities in 10 through 12. So there is the elements class for those students that um, might need that is additional supports in reading that carry on through its 10th and 11th grade, as well as academic and accelerated English in 10th grade. But in 11th and 12th, there is also the advanced placement options in 11th grade it's language and literature and in 12th grade literature and composition additionally in 12th grade the accelerated course is broken up into options so the focus is british literature and there's a course that's full british literature or you can do a half year of british literature and then the other half sports and adventure lit or world myth or a modern film. And that's not like nine weeks and nine weeks, it's kind of integrated with the British literature. So those are all of the options we offer through the English um, program. Any questions from anyone? All right, I think you have about a minute and, oh, my computer's off, but um, about two minutes before we uh, move to our next session. So feel free to stay on for a minute if you have any questions um, and have a good time tonight learning about the high school. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone has any questions or anything, feel free to take them in the chat or ask them if we can answer them in a one minute time period. And then um, if you also missed anything or came in late, you can um, click back into that and come to our next session, which will be starting very soon.